Almost everyone knows that vitamin C is a very beneficial part of people's diets. You see it plastered all over items at the grocery store, but what does it really mean? P3 is working on discovering information about vitamin C in plants that may surprise you. Vitamin C is a vitamin because we cannot make it. We need to consume it usually from fresh fruits and vegetables. So the common knowledge and the uh, reason why your mom and grandma has always insisted in you eating fresh fruits and vegetables is because this molecule is essential for human and plant health. For us, it's essential because if we don't get it, uh, if we don't get enough, we get a deadly disease called scurvy. The ARP3 Center's vitamin C research is focused on how important vitamin C production is for plants, which in turn benefits the human population through agriculture and nutrition. I've picked, since rice means so much to me, and growing up on a farm, I wanted to study how vitamin C can help rice. So by enhancing the levels of vitamin C in rice plants, we have learned that these plants with higher vitamin C levels are tolerant to environmental stresses, such as salt, heat, high light, um, cold temperatures, and herbicides and pesticides. These plants that you see are genetically modified, which means they contain DNA that is not normally made in the rice plant. Plants have four different ways to make vitamin C, and I was very fortunate to be part of the team that discovered one of these routes or pathways leading to vitamin C. So one of the more interesting questions from the scientific point of view is why plants have four different ways to get to the same compound. We think this uh, repetitiveness, if you want to call it that way, it has to do with how essential it is for the plant. And we, are, we also have evidence indicating that these different pathways operate in different times, at different developmental stages of the plant, and they respond to different clues from the environment. P3's work on vitamin C in plants is focused on isolating and boosting these pathways in hopes that the end result will lead in more resilient plants in the future. Plants with high vitamin C are tested under stressful conditions, including heat, high light, drought, and salinity. So the main tests that I'm running now are salinity and drought because that is the most common stress that you find worldwide and rice is grown worldwide and is considered a staple crop for people everywhere. Remember, the big challenge in agriculture is how are we going to feed a growing population without increasing the amount of surface that is available to raise those crops. So that's the big challenge and we think elevating vitamin C in plants is one of the tools that is going to lead to better yields in the future. You can find more information on the P3 project, its researchers, and vitamin C at plantpoweredproduction.com.